Okay, old goats. Hey, uh, pardon the mess on the floor. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and got the desk moved in here. I'm going to go ahead and get all the peripherals moved in and everything put where it needs to go. Then we'll bring the tower in and we'll, we'll record me putting everything into the tower. Um, not that anyone needs to know how to do it. I mean, it's not that hard. But we might even boot it up and see how it boots up for the first time. And maybe do a little walk through for how to get it all set up and ready to go. But uh, most of that probably won't even make it on the video because, well, you know, usernames, passwords, that kind of stuff doesn't need to be out there. So, so we'll probably skip those parts. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to move. Not really. Just gotta clean it first. So, you know, I'm not carrying dust in here, and I should probably vacuum the floor. But I'll probably do that afterwards. because I'm gonna be carrying stuff back and forth. And, and I really don't want to vacuum before I move it all. Even though I probably should have vacuumed before and then vacuumed after. But that's okay. Because there's no one here to get upset about it. So we'll catch back up with you guys here in a few minutes. As soon as I get everything up here ready to go. Okay? Okay, so I got everything moved. We're just going to pretend that you're setting up, uh, that you just unplug everything and just put a new power in. So you're going to take the power cord. And you're going to plug it into the back of the daggone tower. And you're going to take it and you're going to put it right up here and plug it into the power strip. Because you're going to replace that power cord if you've got any power. Now, we're going to turn it this way so we want all the wires on this side here. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, headset up. The headphones here. We're going to go ahead and connect that to it. That way it's able to be used. And it's a USB headset, so we're going to plug it into a USB spot. Then we got the uh, external hard drive, of which we're going to put that in. And we're going to put it into another USB slot. And I, I'm, I'm not even caring which USB slots I'm using because I don't have enough peripherals to even come close to uh, doing this anyway. So, next up, you got your keyboard and your mouse. And of course, none of this matters which one it goes into. It's just, they go into one. The computer will decide what's what and figure it all out for you. But you're gonna wanna make sure, because like on mine, I have the, the drawer that pulls out and everything sits there. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that these are out of the way off the side. That way, whenever you kick your feet around, you're not kicking them and pulling your mouse and keyboard out. So, whenever you turn this around, you're going to try to probably hook it right behind your uh, speaker or, or behind your tower or whatever you're, whatever you're hooking into. So, next up is going to be my speakers. We're going to make sure that we plug those in. And it just, you know, green is for green, so it's, it's not hard, you just push it in. Alright, I think the only thing I have left for the back is my monitor. And now, my old tower didn't have an HDMI slot on it. This one does, so I'm happy about that because I'm actually going to now be able to be able to see my TV a little better. So I've only got one HDMI slot on the back here. <coughs> and I could hook my uh, PlayStation to this too, but I might as well just hook the PlayStation to the TV, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, I do like the idea of having more than one monitor, but yeah, that's not that's different. I'm not even sure what that is, because I mean I've been out of this stuff for so long. And for anyone who thinks I've been hacking, uh, you might want to do a little bit of thinking because, I mean, you probably didn't know this, but my old tower, uh, hard enough to even play a small little 8-bit game on it because it kept freezing up. Plus, I don't hack. So, keep saying I do. I don't care. Uh, you're just showing me how afraid of me you really are. 
with no reason and no justification whatsoever. But we're just going to go ahead and pull all your wires up in here. Then you can snake them and tie them together and everything else. Or you can just pull them up, drag them in behind, push your tire back to where you want it, put your speaker box over near your tower, somewhere where it's out of your way. Uh, <laughs> Anything like me, you're gonna want your sound up. It might got screwed up. I, I seem to have gotten my sound tangled. I'm not quite sure how that happened because I made sure that it wasn't tangled before I even started the camera. I'm just gonna plug that back in, push that back. We're going to take our sound, we're going to fish it up to the back here, close to the monitor, and we're just going to pull it through, that way it's up there. I could have put it on as a mouse, but I just don't like it, so I'll bump it if it's there. And then i got two more things to plug in, actually three, <coughs> and these are just to charge my phone while I'm sitting here. <coughs> and my Bluetooth or my little uh, glasses camera or, or anything else. Um, I hope they should have plugged those into the back and made them a little more flush. But it's okay because I'm just going to wrap them around that external hard drive there. And I'm ready to roll. That's as simple as it is, guys. It takes less than a couple minutes. What we got? We got five, five and a half minutes here. Now it's after moving everything, of course, but whatever. Doesn't even take that long. I mean, you just plug, 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 go, and you're ready to go. Now we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna hit power. We're gonna go ahead and turn the monitor on. And we're gonna move the camera up just a tad so you guys can see the monitor. There you go. Now this isn't anything spectacular, I mean it's just the, it's just the HP Envoy. I don't even think it has a CD-ROM drive in it, come to think of it. I did not even notice that whenever I ordered it. Huh. And it might, it looks like it might, but I don't see a way to eject it, so I'm going to assume it doesn't. So anyway, we're going to switch our... I think I put it in HDMI 1. And hey, it's loading. Alrighty. Well, I don't even know if you can see that. Anyway, we're gonna cut this video short right here. We might do some setup. We might not. I don't know. 